Okay, so I had a few people request, um, well, a lot of people request a lot of things about the Astro Pixels set, and I just got mine today, so I haven't really done a whole lot with it. I did get it hooked up to the uh, the power inside the R2 using the uh, the source that would normally be for the holiday lights, so we're going to take a look at that. I know a couple people asked me how to do it. One of the things I, I definitely am trying to do is um, not change the original form of the R2, in case you ever want to put it back. Um, this is one of those things where you're, you're not really changing anything, you're not being destructive to the, the setup of the wires or anything. So this one is, is falls into that. I will say when it comes time to really look into putting these Astro Pixels lights in there, um, we're probably gonna have to do some dremeling and cutting and things like that. So. Uh, just something to be aware of as we move forward on those things, which I am looking into, and we'll make some brackets and we'll make it easy, so as easy as possible anyway. But you might have to might have to pull out the Dremel and and, and drill drill away at some uh, at some parts in there. But all right, let's go. All right, so you're gonna see the <clears throat> the red connector down in there. If you remember when we moved the R2 off of the platform, we shoved a bunch of wires up inside, and this will be one of those things. Now it might be easier to push it back through and flip them over. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, but we'll just do this for now. Uh, so what you're gonna do is right now, that um, that part of it is, is connected to the little port on the back that, that uh, powers the holiday lights. So we're gonna disconnect that. So we're just gonna put this little clip on the back here and put that apart. Now, you're not gonna need this part anymore, at least for now, so you can just toss that aside. And then you'll see you have a little three pin, three pin there. And you'll notice they kind of sit one way or the other. You got the clip on the top here and they're a little bit closer to the clip side, the top than they are to the bottom. So keep that in mind when you're plugging in the next part. Okay. So I ordered uh, a bag of these three pin GST HX. I think that's what they're called. Yeah. GST eight, GST XH, sorry. I'll put the link down there so you know again. And this will plug right into that red piece that we just saw, that we just were looking at. Now, you'll see there's a red, a black, and a yellow on here. And now, this is where I ran into a little confusion earlier. I thought the red and the black was what I was gonna use to power these things. Turns out, uh, I guess there's not enough juice coming through the black or something, I'm not sure. So the red and the yellow is what you're actually gonna wanna use for these things. So the black one, you can either just cut that off or tape it off or whatever. At this point, I don't have a use for it, so we'll see in the future, but that's what you're gonna want. And then what's gonna happen is, you know, maybe strip a little bit more off of these. Well, you're not gonna want that black one, so forget that, these guys. And you're gonna wanna get yourself a roll of this 24 gauge uh, wire. And we're gonna use the black and the yellow, so if you see something with, you know, three or four wires connected, you don't need all that. Black is gonna be the ground, the red's gonna be the positive, and what you're gonna end up doing with this, the red's gonna to go to the red, the black's gonna to go to the yellow on here. And yeah, you can solder these things together. You know, you're gonna to wanna to strip these down a little bit. I don't know if I can do it with my fingers, but you know, split it off, strip them down a little bit. So yeah, you can solder these things together, you could do that. But what I found is even easier, I got these things. Now these are no solder connectors. And all you're gonna do is, when you strip these down, you're gonna push this through the little hole here, which is hard to do as I watch the camera. All right, and then when this is, if this is stripped off, there you go, stripped off a little bit. You can take your connector, and this is the black, so you're gonna put that on the yellow. Just twist those. Get them pretty, pretty good and tight, but you want to, don't want a big blob of things either because what you're going to have to do is kind of bend it over. And you're going to feed it through that little tube until you get the, your, your wire connection right in the middle where that metal piece is in the middle part. And then when you get there, hit the whole thing with an air gun, uh, or, or I'm sorry, a heat gun or a blow dryer or something. That'll shrink all this down and it'll keep a good connection there. So what you'll end up with is something that looks like this. So you got your red to the red, and then your black goes to the yellow. And then this, you're gonna plug back into that red piece down there, 
that we just saw. Now make sure you take a look at it. It goes in the right way. You'll see those three holes. Make sure they line up with the three pins on the other one. You put them in the right way. This, these have a little bump on the top here. That means it's the top. Push it in there now. Be careful. I have jammed these in there and bent some pins and then it doesn't work right and you have to try to straighten those out. So make sure you look at it and line it up the right way. Okay. And then on the other end, you do the same thing. These and I, I'm using, I switched over to the two pin JST 8 XHs. And again, I'll put links for these two. These are just two pins because then that makes it easy for, for two pin things to plug together. But you got that all plugged back in, got your two pins going, get this, get a matching one. Oops. Get a matching one so they can plug in together. Now, the matching one I plugged into the, this is the Astro Pixels board. I haven't done anything with these. These are all a big mess right now. But just so I can show you that it works, and what to do, I took this part, wired into this green one, there's the little screws here that you unscrew. You put the, the red into the positive. You'll see a little tiny positive right there. The other side, there's a little negative, black and negative, red in the positive. Then tighten them, tighten up those little screws here. And then you have this and you should be pretty good to go when you plug them in. Now if I haven't, now again, pay attention, little, little, little spot here, just the top, little, it lines up with this little hole, and there we go. Now we got some Astro Pixels plugged in and ready to go. And then we gotta figure out what to do with them. Now I'm not gonna lie, these are cool. They're definitely gonna look cool in my one-to-one -one, uh, full-size R2, but for the, the Home Depot one, we're gonna figure out how to, how to make this work figure it out we'll, we'll 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 have to cut away some things and tremble at some things but that's how you that's how you do the wiring for it and if you wanted to wire anything else you could just splice into all of those things too so if you wanted to add you know other lights you could also splice it if you still want to keep the holiday lights you could splice it and plug in that you know that original uh, one that i just showed you that we showed you at the beginning um, using the three pin parts and whatever but uh, for this that's how that works uh, one last thing to note when you're when you're setting up the Astro Pixels, um, you don't have to use all the lights that come with them. I, I'm not going to use all the lights that come with them. The the front and the back PSI, I think, um, the little round ones, the little red and blue one, and then there's a green one on the back. Um, the ones that came with Home Depot R2, I think, are fine. Um, I think they work just fine. I noticed with the the Astro Pixels, you're gonna you end up seeing a lot of the little LEDs, individual LEDs, and then you gotta find diffusion things or whatever. It's really not necessary because I think the ones on there, I, I think are just fine. I am going to use the hollow projector lights. They will work with the hollow projectors I'm working on. I'm going to, I'm going to make a little, huh, I keep working on those things and they keep changing, but I'm going to have a couple different versions of those. Um, maybe even three or four, but, um, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll be all right. And then, um, yeah. And of course the front and back logic displays I'm going to use cause those look pretty good, but we're going to have to do some, some dremeling, like I said before. So, okay. Thanks.